Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Here we are with a, another um, video about, another reaction video. Uh, this one is called the Universe Size Comparison. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I, I like doing different things on the channel. Sometimes I play a game, sometimes I react, sometimes I, you know, put out some news or something like that. So we did one earlier, which was the size of the universe. Um, I think this is just comparing planets, I think, something like that. Um, I might just change over my camera because I've got a feeling that we might be up there. I might move over to that side. So just bear with me and I'll be back. All right, so I'm on this side or that side, I'm not too sure. So let's have a look at this video. Um, I'll leave a link for this one as well. So we're starting off with a Ceres, which is uh, one of the dwarf planets that would have uh, been added in after Pluto got the arse. So 950 kilometers. So let's start. So Callisto is one of Jupiter's moons. So Callisto is bigger than our moon and almost the same size as Mercury. And it just shows you what sort of what sort of gravitational pull Jupiter has to hold uh, basically a planet-sized moon. Now that's interesting. I I would have thought Mars was the same size of, of the Earth, but it looks like it's half the size. I knew I knew Venus and Earth were pretty similar, but I thought Mars was bigger than that. Hawaii. In the Philippines, that's where I live. All right, so automatically we're starting to scale up, and I don't know what Kepler twenty two B is, but it might be another moon or something like that. But here we're starting to get into the big gas giants. But all, all of a sudden, you know, we've gone from 30,000 kilometers to 50,000, so that's twice as big as the Earth. Well, roughly. So that's four times bigger than the Earth, Saturn. Again, I didn't realize it was that big. I knew Jupiter was huge, but I didn't realize that Saturn was that big and didn't realize it was twice as much as, as the gas giants. So when you see Jupiter and you see that the, the big red eye or the re big red storm or whatever you want to call it, you know, that's nearly the same size as Earth. Yeah, I was going to say, that doesn't look like our sun. Our sun. This, the next one will be our sun. Alright, 
if we just go back here, we're down here somewhere. We're, what, number four on the list here, and it just shows you the, the, the difference in scale between just our sun. But yeah, our sun's pretty small. So now we're getting into some pretty decent sized stuff. Like what's that? 36 million kilometers across. So all uh, all of this stuff here could just be sucked up by that one sun. Arcturus. I don't even know where that is. But again, look at this. Rival. All right, so Beetlejuice. Um, that's a small sun. We would. I was taught at school that Beetlejuice is a small sun. So what the hell's going on here? So two, two and a half billion kilometers. So if you put this thing near our sun and th this, is, this is taking up half of our solar system. All right, so I'm, I'm assuming this thing's a black hole. I have no idea, but they haven't portrayed it as a sun, so I'm assuming it's a black hole. So what's that, 60 billion kilometers? Jesus Christ. So um, we've just had the web telescope um, start sending back some images and some of them are just absolutely beautiful. It always reminds me every time I see a picture from, from space or from deep space, it reminds me of microbiology. It reminds me of cells, which is a scary thought because if you think of these massive objects in the sky, they might be as small as what we see in a microscope. Alright, so when you go into Australia, when you go into the middle of Australia, you can actually see this you can see, and you can even see the colour because it's that huge. Alright, so we, we really went quick there. So what is that? 150 billion light years. And where are we? 
we're nowhere to be seen anymore. No. All right, so there we go. There's a really quick reaction video. Um, again, it's really hard to imagine this as a human. How vast this, the the universe is, and how small we are, and our brains haven't evolved for this sort of scale. Um, I know people, my wife, she, she can't even get a scale of a building correct, let alone, um, you know, how big the universe is. So it's a really difficult thing for humans to understand the size and the vastness. Um, I, I, I could take people to Australia and they don't realise how big Australia is until they actually see it. And, you know, they, they don't realise that you can walk for six, seven, eight months and still not see anyone. I, most people don't even know the vastness that's on our planet, let alone the vastness of space and particularly deep space. And this might be, like I said, this might be a pinprick of what we can actually see. But anyway, interesting. It's always good to um, fill your mind up with um, different thoughts and keep your, your brain active, especially as you get old like I am. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. Leave a like, leave a comment. And we'll catch you in the next one. Catch you later. Peace out, Earthlings.